The second day, the physical therapist came in the morning and I walked down the hallway uh, with a walker and back and my husband came around the corner um, and he was so incredibly happy. There were like tears in his eyes to see me walk. It was amazing. And since I've had the surgery, it's been remarkable. The progress in my recovery has just been astounding and I have hope again. The biggest thing is I had it at 69 years old. Uh, I'm now 70, and I am in better shape now than I was 10 years ago. When people see how well I'm doing two weeks after my surgery, they all say to me, how, how are you doing this? I mean, you just had surgery two weeks ago. And I said, well, it's, it's my doctor. I said, it's Dr. Corey Brirak. He's got a new procedure that he brought from California. I'm Dr. Corey Burak of Phelps Hospital's orthopedic team, and you're about to see how pain can be eliminated. Suffering, hardship, and a very limited lifestyle. If you have arthritis of the hip, then you know what I'm talking about. When was the last time you had a good night's sleep, or not had to take very strong medication to be able to walk across a room? Do you have difficulty getting in and out of a car, putting on your shoes and socks, or even cutting your own toenails? When were you last able to swim, cycle, play golf, tennis, or be active in any way? When were you last able to play with your children or your grandchildren? And that may be the most painful thing of all. Some of you know these symptoms all too well and have considered hip replacement. As a matter of fact, hip replacement surgery has only been available since the 1960s to provide arthritis sufferers the ability to lead a changed and improved life, a life free of pain. And recently, as the search continually goes on, there have been more innovations and developments in hip replacement surgery, with both long and short-term benefits. We have materials available today that can last much longer than ever before, perhaps forever in some patients. In addition, using an aid called the HANA table, which will be demonstrated shortly, the patient, with no discomfort, can be manipulated without being physically shifted. With the use of this table, procedures can move more swiftly and smoothly. A patient can return to a pain-free, normal life within a week. I'll say that again, a pain-free, normal life. Isn't that what we all want? Shortly, I'll take you through two hip replacement procedures, one for a single hip and another for a double hip replacement done at the same time. If you're living in pain and considering hip replacement, we hope watching this program will help you make the right decision, not just for your sake, but for your families too. I noticed my pain about a year ago, last winter. I had difficulty getting in and out of my car. I literally had to lift my leg to get my left leg into the car. Um, I had very bad shooting pains up the groin. Uh, I was not able to walk far. You know, I would enjoy shopping at that point. I couldn't even take long to go shopping at any points. During the summer when I had my six month checkup with my arthritis doctor, I mentioned it to him. He said, let's look at it a little bit further, we'll take an x-ray. Uh, I went and had an x-ray done, and when I came back to his office, he looked at me and he said, your hip is gone. And at that point, I wanted to just pass out. Um, because my granddaughter was being born in a month, and my plan was to retire in the summer so I could take care of her so my daughter can go back to work. And hip replacement was the last thing at this point I was looking forward to. Well, about uh, a year and a half before I had surgery, I started interviewing surgeons and talking to people who had hip replacement surgery. And the more people I spoke to, the more terrified I was of having the surgery because it's such a big operation and the recovery is so severe. And um, I was very afraid. Then I met Corey Burak and everything changed. I found him to be confident and competent and very nice. And he had a special approach that I had actually read about and I heard they were doing in California, but nobody was doing it on the East Coast, minimally invasive surgery. 
and his method just made a lot of sense to me. A less trauma to the body, a less recovery time. And when I met him, it, it was as if my fear went away and I felt this is, this is the guy that's going to help me and he's going to help me move forward in my life. We're here today to talk about a new technique in total hip replacement called the anterior approach total hip replacement. It's facilitated by the use of this special table called the HANA table. I was introduced to this operation during my fellowship in Los Angeles, California. During that year, I was exposed to many different types of small incision total hip replacement, but I found that this operation was unique. One, it enables you to do the same operation on all patients regardless of their size or shape. It preserves the natural stability of the hip by not cutting any muscles. So the patients can essentially get back to any or all activities as soon as they're comfortable. They don't have to abide by any special hip precautions, which you do with a traditional hip replacing surgery. First, we lie the patient flat on their back on the operating room table, and then we put one of these special boots on each foot. We then attach these boots to these special leg spars on the table, which enable us to move the leg during the operation. One of the unique features of this table are that it enables you to rotate the leg inside and outside to facilitate doing the operation. Also, you can actually drop the leg underneath the other leg, which facilitates doing the femoral or thigh bone side of the operation. Another unique feature of this table is the jack, which during the operation we put a, a sterile hook which goes inside the wound and goes under the thigh bone and actually lifts the femur or the thigh bone up in the air. Another benefit of this table for this operation is the ability to use the image intensifier, which gives us real-time imaging as we're performing the operation. Typically with a hip replacement surgery, we're getting an x-ray in the recovery room to make sure we put the implants in right. During this operation, we actually can get real-time imaging as we're putting the implants in, so it's effectively image-guided. In my kitchen, I'm not at home anymore. It's difficult for me to cook, to stand long enough to cook because I love to cook. It's difficult for me to reach things. I try to stand on the step stool and putting my weight on this leg is very hard. It's also difficult to be bending over to get the things that I need to cook. Um, also the cleanup, and it's difficult to take care of the cleanup after my cooking. I'm looking forward to getting back to my normal life after the surgery. I love having my children over for Sunday dinner. We have a, a wonderful family dinner on Sundays and I've been doing my best to keep up that tradition but lately it's been very taxing to be able to do that, to be on my feet because by the end of the day I'm in a lot of pain and it carries over to the next day when I have to go back to work. Pain is a pretty sharp pain in, in one or both hips simultaneously, depending upon the activity. Uh, getting up from a seated position or sitting down is often very painful. Bending is very painful. I can't open my legs more than just a few inches, so I have to walk with little baby steps. If I have to straddle something or climb over something, it's either impossible or extremely painful. How long have your hips been troubling you? Uh, since about 2000. Any history of trauma, injury, or stress to the hips? I used to do gymnastics as a kid, which was pretty hard on the body. Do you have any difficulty up and down stairs? Yes, sometimes I can't get upstairs at all. I have to hoist myself up to get up the couple of stairs to get onto the bus, and getting downstairs is sometimes even more of a problem. Take a couple of deep breaths in and out through your mouth. Well, the arthritis is actually in both hips. The x-rays show that it's more severe in the right than the left, but it's, uh, the deterioration pretty, is pretty significant in both hips. So I'm having the surgery done uh, to both hips simultaneously. Well, for three and a half years, I was in a lot of pain. 
I had trouble walking, I couldn't get in and out of my car, I couldn't play with my grandchildren, and I couldn't walk around the property here without assistance. I had gone to another um, orthopedist, a surgeon, about the hip, and uh, the doctor told me that uh, he couldn't do the surgery on me. One is because of my age, and the other is because I was uh, too heavy. I met Dr. Burak through a nurse who's at Phelps Memorial Hospital. I went there, and he, the same day that I went there, he said to me, when do you want to have the surgery? Um, I was admitted to the hospital on October 8th, which was Columbus Day, and operated on. And uh, I was back to work full time in 16 days. Well, Phelps is a special hospital in itself. The rehab there was phenomenal. Like, they had me up in eight hours. I was standing and walking in eight hours. I remember when Michael over here was the captain of the NYU diving team and he would be doing uh, triple flips that people would be like just bravoing him and then um, Don't forget the twisters. and the twisters I mean really unbelievable he was also relentless for years teaching um, young students in high schools he was in competitions nationally always traveling around and then he was invited out to my mother's house and where he did cartwheels over and over and then Handsprings. Back handsprings. And then all of a sudden I noticed like he was walking differently and um, then it started getting really painful for him. I became really disheartened when I started slowing down because of my hip pain. Uh, I've always been active all my life. I've always been an athlete, a gymnast, a springboard diver, a uh, dancer. When I started having pain uh, and it became really intense, I became very disheartened. I couldn't imagine a lifestyle without being active. I mean, I had trouble lifting groceries out of the car, trouble getting up the stairs, trouble walking my dog. When I heard about Dr. Burek's anterior approach to the hip replacement surgery, I started to have a glimmer of hope that maybe I could resume my normal physical activity. Susan, this is your signature here, and that's yes. your name, correct? Yes, it is. This is the band that matches you to the blood work so that it'll give you the right unit of okay. blood back. What I really feel bad about is that I can't hold Abigail very long when I'm on my feet. And, um, you know, I, I wanted to push the stroller. You know, we went to the St. Patrick's Day Parade and I couldn't even push the stroller. It was, it was very difficult to do. And this is the reason why I'm retiring, so I can do these things. And that's why I'm having the surgery done. My name is Kathleen. I'll be your nurse today and I'm gonna get you ready for your surgery. Please tell me your first and last name. Susan Fiorella. And your birth date? 5-12-48. And it's Dr. Corey Burak today? Yes. Okay. What type of surgery are you having? My arthritis doctor recommended Dr. Corey Burak the day I had the visit and had the x-ray taken. He highly recommended him telling me of this new procedure that he performs. And he told me that Dr. Corey is the only one in Westchester that performs this type of surgery and highly recommended that I go to see him. Good morning. How are you feeling? Good morning, Doc. Good. You ready? I'm ready, Freddie. You having pain? Yes, I am. All right, we're going to take good care of you, okay? Thanks. We're going to fix your hip and get you back to everything you want to do. Thank you, Doc. All right, we're going to get you pushing that baby carriage and doing everything you want to do. Thank you. Okay. <laughs>
These are the actual implants we'll be using in our total hip replacement surgery. This is the femoral implant, which has a special coating on it, which goes into the thigh bone in the marrow cavity. This coating enables the bone to grow into the prosthesis to achieve long-term stability. This is the acetabular component, which goes into the socket of the patient. It also has a special coating to enable the bone to grow into it. This is a metal liner, which is new to the industry, which has benefits because it hasn't been shown to wear out over an extended period of time. My name is Amy Kennedy. I'm going to be your physical therapist. Okay. And you had your surgery about two weeks ago? Yes, I did. Okay. How are you feeling overall? I'm feeling great. Great. Okay. And Dr. Burak? Yes, your Dr. Surgeon? Corey Burak. Okay. You ready? Okay. Bend that knee for me. Good. Any pain with that? Mm -mm. Okay. A little bit tight here, but that's to be expected. We're going to work on time so you can get your socks and shoes on mm -hmm. by yourself. But overall, for two weeks, this is excellent. And good. Bring your toes to your nose. When people see how well I'm doing two weeks after my surgery, they all say to me, how, how are you doing this? I mean, you just had surgery two weeks ago. And I said, well, it's, it's my doctor. I said, it's Dr. Corey Burak. He's got a new procedure that he brought from California. And I went to um, my job the other night, and the school nurse happened to be there. And she saw me driving, and she said, you're driving already? And I said, I've been driving since Saturday. You know, which was 12 days after the surgery. And she said, let me get the wheelchair for you. And I said, I don't need a wheelchair. I said, I'm walking fine. And I mean, she was amazed. Okay. Feeling okay? Fine. Okay. And push down and back up. Good. Push down. How's that feel? No pain. No pain? Is it difficult? No. Okay. Doing wonderful. Keep up the good work Thank here. You. This isn't so bad. Hey, Susan. How are you? Doc, how are you? Nice to see you again. You look great. Thank you. I'm feeling very well. Good. What are we, about two weeks now? A little over two weeks. Wonderful. And you're driving? Yes, I started driving last Saturday. Excellent. And taking care of the grandkids? I'm holding that baby and pushing the baby carriage. Wonderful. Dr. Corey is a very charming young doctor. He made me feel very comfortable. I had the surgery maybe like 8.30 in the morning, and I was up out of bed, I'd say 2.30 that afternoon, and I walked across the room. And he's just a very natural, easy to talk to, very caring doctor. It's like a miracle, Doc. I don't know what the new procedure is, but I sure would like to know the name of it. Okay. Everyone's asking me how I'm doing so well after just having surgery two weeks ago. Okay. Well, you can tell them it's called the anterior approach total hip replacement. Okay, today's the day. I've been preparing for this for over two months, and uh, I've met almost everyone that I'm going to be coming into contact with during my stay here. So the staff at Phelps has been really remarkable about introducing themselves and letting me know what exactly I can expect. Uh, all the preparation is done. I feel very comfortable, very confident with the surgery, and I'm really looking forward to getting back to my old active self, pain-free. Good morning, Michael, how are you? Pretty good. You ready? Yes, I am. I'm looking forward to this. Good. Well, the plan is to do both hips. Right. Okay, the operation takes about two to three hours. We'll be doing an epidural anesthesia, which they'll leave in overnight, and you'll spend a night in the ICU. And then they'll take it out tomorrow morning and get you up walking. Okay. Okay? So I'll have no pain? Zero yeah. pain overnight. All right. Good. So we're gonna put a number one on the left side. Okay. And my initials.
Okay, bye. Thank you for coming. Okay, you take care. Oh, thank you, Mary. Okay. Thank you. They had like a whole little section on just bilateral joint. Yeah. You know what, Yeah. It was bilateral hip or bilateral knee? We talked about both. All right, you're really doing well uh, walking with your cane. I think we're gonna go ahead and start you walking without anything. So just go ahead and pick the cane up okay. and then try to walk as normally as you can. See how you feel about it. Hey, no cane, no pain. Oh, doing well. There you it's go. It's terrific. All right. Try to raise it as high as you can. That's it. This very gets good. easier and easier every day. All right, very good. Okay, what I want you to do is I want you to try to bring your leg out as far as you can and see how, if you can tolerate without any pain. Okay. How is it? Feels fine. No pain? Nope. All right, great. Hey, Michael. How are you? Hi, Dr. Barrick. You look great. Thanks. Feel oh, good. Good. It's been uh, two weeks since we replaced both your hips. Yep. And you're doing well? I'm doing great. I'm walking without a cane. I have no pain. I'm really glad I went with the interior approach. Excellent. At this point, I'm eight months out of surgery, and I walk everywhere now. I really, you know, there was a couple of years there where I just couldn't walk comfortably and I just love to walk and I hike and I, I go out in nature, I bike. I went skiing 14 times this past winter. I had my surgery in October and the amazing thing is nine weeks after I had my surgery, I was in Utah skiing. I walk three miles every day. I do a three mile walk in an hour, 55 minutes to an hour and absolutely no problem. The biggest thing is I had it at 69 years old, uh, I'm now 70, and I'm in better shape now than I was 10 years ago. One, because the hip has been replaced, and two, because now I can walk, which I wasn't able to do. I, I think this is the greatest, and I, I, I can't thank him enough, Dr. Corey. I, can't, I just can't thank him enough. Hey, Michael, how are you? I'm well, Corey. Good to see you. You look great. Thanks. I feel pretty good. So we're at a month now? Yeah, a month since surgery, and I'm back to my independent routine. Driving, cooking, cleaning the house, sitting at the desk, doing work, walking the dog. I'm pretty much back to normal. Excellent. How did you get here today? I drove all the way from Pennsylvania. Really? A little more than a two-hour drive. Wow. How did it go? It was fine. No problems at all. I've been building myself up to it. So I did you know, 10 minutes, half hour, and now I can be in the car for as long as an hour and a half or two hours without any problem at all. Fantastic. Yep. One month after surgery. That's yes. great. Do you have any questions for me? I do. I've got all these pools in my neighborhood that are just calling out for me to come swim in them and just concerned that I'm not going to do any damage to the incisions or anything. Can I resume you know, pool activity, get the incisions wet at this point? Well, at one month you should be safe to swim um, okay. and pretty much do any land-based activities. Okay. Uh, as far as getting in a hot tub, I would wait another couple of weeks. Okay, so I'm pretty much done now? Actually, this is just the start of our relationship. We're going to get an x-ray today. I'm going to see you again in six months, do another physical exam. We'll get an x-ray, and then we'll see you once a year annually, as long as the hip is in, just to make sure everything looks OK and there's no change. Great. I feel very well taken care of. Before the surgery, driving was difficult for me because I could not get in and out of the car. I actually had to lift my left leg and carry it over into the car, and it was very painful for a few seconds after that. It made it not enjoyable to go anywhere just knowing that I had to get in and out of the car, and also the walk back and forth to my garage was very difficult. And now I have no pain, and I'm driving, and I feel like freedom. It's been two months since my surgery, and now I'm back in the kitchen and doing everything I haven't been able to do for months. I'm able to reach things on the top shelf. I'm able to wash the floor on my hands and knees. I'm able to cook dinner for my children on Sundays. Okay, Abby, come on, let's go to Danny's house.
It's been two months since my surgery that I had at Phelps Memorial Hospital. I was in the hospital for four days and I was able to carry on my physical therapy there for exactly 12 visits after my surgery. Well, I was recuperated so quickly. I was back to work in exactly four weeks. I was driving 10 days after the surgery and I was able to take care of myself after coming home. I was very pleased with the care that I received at the hospital and especially this wonderful procedure performed by Dr. Curie Burek. It was like a miracle. I hope this demonstration has given you some insight into the anterior approach total hip replacement and the use of the HANA table and how it facilitates the operation in patients of all sizes and shapes. It really sounds funny when I tell people I had the most amazing experience at Phelps. It was uh, a loving, caring, wonderful experience. Everybody I met was there to uh, help me get back on the path to uh, recovery and an active life. I had no pain, which was a big surprise, and Corey would come in every morning. And um, I, I must say, I just had a terrific, like most loving experience at Phelps. The day has come that I've been able to do whatever I want to do with Abigail, all the fun grandma things there is to do, especially without pain. And that's the reason why I had the surgery done. Now that you've seen just how this new hip replacement procedure at Phelps can help return patients rapidly to their normal lives and activities, we hope you'll make the right decision, a decision that can help return you to a pain-free, active, normal life. Isn't that what we all want?